All right, how we doing? Here's the guitar portion of the videos that I'm sending. I already sent the uh, drumming one along. So what we're trying to do is just be able to play, you know, the pentatonic scale, which is like the most common one for all your blues, your, you know, your heavy stuff, whatever. It gets used in a ton of places and, and you can even pull it off in jazz to a certain degree. So it's a very versatile one. And the thing you're trying to do is start on the fifth fret of E, which is A, right? There's an open A string. But it's much easier to control the strings, as you probably already know from playing guitar, is that, you know, like if I use an open string, then I have to mute it. But if I do this, I just lift my finger and it mutes right away. So the pattern that you're doing here is five to eight, right? And then you do five, seven, three times in a row. And then you go five, eight, five, eight at the end. Then coming back down, eight, five, eight, five. 757575 five, seven, five, seven, five, and then 85. Now I'm just going to kind of go down slowly and up and you'll notice that this pattern you could move it anywhere you want on the guitar uh, based on the key of the song. So here you go with A minor pentatonic. my pinky because I've played bass before I played guitar so I was using my pinky a lot uh, so it doesn't bother me to do that however if you don't use your pinky very much which a lot of young players don't and then you'd go up to here you'd have to make it so that you jump a couple frets even though there's only you know one uh, two frets but or I should say two fingers but three frets so here we go and then if you can that's great too if you can do the stretch like that Personally, that gets to my wrist after a while. But anyways, here we go. And I would practice both. You know, and see if you can eventually get your pinky in there because then you have one more finger that you can do things with, which is a lot of fun. So then the movable part of it is somebody, if somebody said, well, I can't, I can't sing that high, I need you to lower it. You can just move the pitch to here. you can think about is like right you can consider doing little pull-offs pull off hammer on kind of stuff too as you're soloing so anyways um and then and one last thing to, to throw in there it's always the fourth or the third one that you hit so if you go like this if you start here If you're up here and then even doing these two strings together right can be kind of a fun way to throw that in there so anyways here's a little backing track here we go kind of improvising on that and uh, you know the main thing you know just make sure that you get that scale down you know just keep running that over and over and you can even move it to, to like a C minor but if you go up make sure you go back down too uh, because uh, some interesting things can be done in either direction so all right good luck <laughs> 